Hello everyone, myself Vaibha. In today's session of Visual J Forex, we will be completing the algorithm which we have been developing with the help of indicator named Arun. So let's get started for today's session. Now we will be heading to the Visual J Forex board which has been developed by the Decoscopy Tank SA. In the prior sessions, I had done this uh, instrument subscription where the default instrument this time around is USD JPY instead of euro usd then the position amount have been defined at uh, zero the arrow indicator blocks to look at the arrow values for last two hours so here the shift one and shift two respectively then this uh, cluster of four candles to look at the price volatility and to retrieve the individual values we will be using this uh, loop viewer and uh, to look at the last hour's price action, this uh, get historical candle with a uh, back period of 1 will come handy. And uh, to pinpoint the exact uh, entry point, we will be utilizing these uh, two 10 second candles. Then to define the required uh, range, I have used these uh, calculation expressions blocks where we have done the default instrument pip size calculation and uh, then i also have looked into the actual uh, difference actual uh, price difference between the highest and the lowest value over the last four hours and uh, then we have also defined this uh, entry point for the buy trade as we will not be executing the trade at the market price but uh, instead we will be utilizing the pending open and uh, order will be placed below the current price for the buyer side by 25 percent of the volatility of uh, last four hours so here we have done these uh, calculations and for hld the value has been defined at uh, 20 pips so there should be minimum of uh, 20 pips of difference between the highest value and the lowest value here are these uh, conditions which need to be in place for the execution of the buy trade i will not really go into the details of this now as we have already done it in the last session and you can always refer to that video whenever you feel any confusion now in today's session we will be completing the sell side structure and also we will have to define the order validity and i think the order validity of one and a half hour should be good enough so we will be defining the order validity for one and a half hour here is this usd jpy and for the sale trade to be executed we need the sharp deceleration in the price momentum and uh, for that we want the last hourly iron value to be equals to uh iron down value to be equals to 100 and it should have crossed above the Iron up value in last hour only. So in penultimate hour, the hour prior to the last hour, we want the iron down value to have been below the iron up value, and this crossover should be happening, and it should be happening with good enough momentum. And for that, to measure the momentum, we will be utilizing the iron down value and compare it to the hundred, which is the defined range. Whenever there is a high volatility we see that these uh, iron up and iron down values go on to touch 100 depending on the price trajectory so for uh, bearish momentum with good enough strength we will uh, have this iron down value at 100 and it will be above of course the iron up value as uh, the vice versa was true when the conditions were more favorable for bulls we had the iron down uh, sorry iron up value at 100 whereas the iron down value was below it and we wanted to execute the buy trade as and when the crossover was in place with a good enough momentum so this uh, indicator gives you the idea for both the trend as well as the strength of the trend and uh, we will be taking the advantage of that so now we head back to the dual j forex board here is the uh, structure so far and uh, now we will start again with the calculation expression first i will have to define the entry point for the 
execution of the sale trade and for that we have to add 25 percent of the difference of the highest and the lowest value so here is this and here is the 25 percent of it so all we have to do is take last tick tick ask and add the 25 percent of these uh, difference and that will be our sell limit value so here i will take last tick tick ask okay and uh, to that we will add this calculation expression result and it will be above the market price so a1 plus a2 and this will be the entry price okay i will have to disconnect this and uh, also we will have to define the order validity for both buy as well as sell side and for that we have to carry out this calculation in which i will have to take the last tick tick time and in one hour there are uh, 3.6 million ticks since we are keeping the order valid for 1.5 hour we want the new variable to be created with the value of 1.5 so we will take uh, two variables here and multiply 3.6 million by 1.5 so order validity will be one and a half hour so let us create total ticks in 3.6 million so i have to count the zero very carefully i think i'm right you can point it out if i am wrong and one more variable will be having the value of 1.5 okay and this will be a1 plus a2 into a3 and then comes the result of the calculation but instead of defining the output uh, variable here what i will do to make sure that the data type matches i will create the variable in this block and then put it here so whatever is the result of the calculation that will be in long format as we will define the order uh, uh, sorry the data type as per the this variable's requirement in o e e okay new variable has been created and if you see the difference in this color coding it is simply because of the difference in data type this is in long data type whereas this is double so for buy side we have defined these uh, most of the variables of course we will have to again go back to take a look on the appropriate stop loss and target price level which we will do once we are uh, done with uh, construction for the uh, execution of the sales trade now again we head back and i will join the flow for the time being suppose if the need arises i will again disconnect it and add necessary blocks okay all right now we need couple of a blocks and here it comes i will take multiple of it as we are going to need anyway 
Oops, what happened? It's taking too much time this time around. This is bad. Let me check for the connectivity. I think there is something wrong with this. Just give me a few seconds more. Now let us try again one more time and this time around it should work hopefully. Let me see if it is connected or disconnected. It is connected. Then I will never to understand what's wrong with the JPORX board now. Okay, it has started working again. Thankfully. Component mathematical. Yes, okay. Now we go back to the business. In who we will need logical blocks if you will take a couple of it so that even if there is problem on the platform we will have some time and uh, for the execution of the sale trade we want last hours and down value to be equal to 100 And here they should be equal, and uh, Aaron down value for last hour should be above the Aaron up value for last hour. So we want this comparison as well first input greater than second input whereas in our prior to that the iron down value was actually down than the arena so it should be lower first input less than second input okay and i will take a couple of if blocks more so we have to define that First input is less than second input. 
Now, we take a look on the price action, price volatility, and for that, we have to look at the actual high low difference and compare it with the predetermined value, predefined levels. So for that, I will have to compare this and to make sure it is greater, first input greater than second input. Okay. And we want last hourly candle to have closed above its opening price for that we have to take into consideration the candle 18 uh, not above below it there should be selling momentum for buy side that was the condition for the sell side it should have closed lower than the opening value so we will take uh, candle 18 opening and the closing value and this candle open and close so here the opening value should be greater than the closing value so the first input greater than second input okay i will disconnect this And join it here. Now we also have to define the exact uh, entry point, and for that, again, we will rely on the candle 18, candle 19, and candle 20's closing levels. We will do the comparison. As and when price starts to dip below this uh, closing value for last hourly candle, you will uh, want to initiate the trade. And for that, we have to look at the candle 19 and candle 20's closing levels as well. We will need the candle 20 to have closed above the candle 18, whereas candle 19 should close below this uh, candle 18 for the execution of the trade. So I will take candle 18 closing as a second variable in both the blocks and candle 19 and candle 20 is close. So this should be below. So first input less than second input, and uh, this one should be first input greater than second input, and then comes the trading block or pending open. Over here first input greater than second input. and now comes the question of price and for that we have already done the calculation and we will take that block result of the calculation okay i see so this is going to be our uh, sale execution price it will be above the 25 percent of the difference 
of uh, the last four hours highest and the lowest value trade amount be kept as per the equity of your account click page to keep should be good enough stop loss and target price we will uh, make it the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 2 for the time being there is this default uh, ratio with uh, 25 and uh, 50 as the uh, predefined values but uh, since we are not really working on the longer term frame uh, we will uh, cut it down to 10 pips and 20 pips combination I will change this 10 pips and 20 pips for the buy side uh, order also we will have to change this and uh, order validity is going to be one and a half hour so this looks good to me and uh, we will have to check whether it is symmetric or not both the sides buy as well as sell should be symmetric should be inverted images of another Okay, we will place the blocks and change the variables of stop loss and target price. And as you can see, our uh, conditions are symmetrical. Here we had uh, used seven conditions which need to be fulfilled for the buy trade and the equal number of conditions need to be fulfilled for the execution of the sell trade as well and also the variables for these uh, both the pending open order should be also symmetrical it's not a requirement but it's better to use uh, symmetry in trading as well as in other walks of life okay so here we have defined this uh, setup with the help of oh, I think this remains and also I will color code this to make sure that we have connected all the blocks let us check one more time yes the flow is going through And with this, the session is also coming to an end. I hope you have been able to understand the algorithm development using this uh, indicator, Arun. And uh, you will be able to design and develop it on your own. You can refer to this uh, bare bone structure. If you want to do any changes, you can do that as well. Or you can use uh, as it is. And uh, of course, I would suggest that uh, you run the historical uh, data test and see if it is profitable or not and depending on the prior results you can uh, think about it so that's it uh, from my side thank you all for joining in see you next time till then goodbye